our next presenters of the evening, David Dennis and Eric Johnson. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 sorry. Wait. We have a, a, a special new award for baby nexties of the year. Freya, Freya, say hi You're to everybody. You're supposed to do a collective aw. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. how, how old is Freya, Jackie? Five weeks. Five weeks old. And she's already on stage. Let's see, make sure. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> I'd say those are big shoes to fill, but they're probably tiny. So she's just in training right now, but her dad was a Nexties. Oh, hold on, there's a picture, hold on. <laughs> okay, good. Her dad was actually a Nexties winner of the year, so how fitting that she is. So anyway, say bye, Freya. Yeah, baby, your, bye. your minute's up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> bye. David Dennis and Eric Johnson. Can we get some whales up here? Can we cue the whales, please? Cue the whales. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Take, take a look. So naming this award after Doug Ross will be yet another way to keep his memory alive. This will be the Doug Ross Artist of the Year going forward. His art will certainly live forever. When I first saw Doug's work on the walls at Next Space, I was blown away. His use of color, his ability to capture the essence of marine life were incredible. My company, Ventana Surfboard, selected him as a featured artist and we did a number of events with him. We created a t-shirt line and we're now donating 100% of sales of that line to the whale entanglement team here in Monterey. <laughs> I'm wearing Doug Sudi Shearwaters, one of my favorite pieces from Doug, um, and his work was just, just phenomenal. The whale entanglement team he worked with, um, he didn't just illustrate marine life, but he helped to save it too. We'll miss him, but I'll smile every time I see his artwork. You can see it yourself around town. Some, some of you may have seen it on the electricity boxes. It's for sale at the Artisan Gallery on Pacific Avenue, and it still lives on at DougRoss.com. Do yourself a favor, spend some time admiring it. Doug was a treasure, and so was his art. Uh, <clears throat> I'm really honored to uh, have been invited to help um, give the first ever uh, Doug Ross Artist of the Year Award. I'm doubly honored because uh, I've only recently learned that the young artist who won this award it's, uh, is remarkable. And uh, I'm going to talk about her in a little bit, but I need to talk about my friend Doug first. Um, anyone here doesn't know Doug's story, and everyone in Santa Cruz should really get to know this story because it's amazing. Uh, you can Google Doug Ross Maria Grusauskas, and it's spelled just like it sounds. Um, or you can look at last week's good times. Um, so Doug, you know, if you're fortunate, if you're very fortunate, every now and then someone comes into your life, and it's not just that your life gets better, it's that you become a better person. And that's what Doug Ross did for me. And that's what Doug and Ginger did for me and for my wife Tracy and for a bunch of our friends who became their friends and that's what they do for their family uh, and their friends and uh, Doug and Ginger are like this star system uh, this double star system that has collected this constellation of amazing people around them and um, um, and even though Doug is gone um, all of our lives are still better I mean Ginger is still here uh, Ginger brought Doug to California, Doug brought Ginger to us, and we still got her, and it's a, she's a gift. And um, for me, Doug is still with me, and I know that for the rest of my life, every time I see a seal bobbing in the waves looking at me, the way they do for whatever reason, and, uh, or a whale uh, just blowing or breaching, or a cool bicycle, or a certain shade of blue, um, I'm going to think about Doug Ross. He's going to be there with me, and my spine will stiffen and my shoulders will go back and I'll be doing the Doug Ross pose. <laughs> um, um, and I recommend you, you find the portrait that Ted Holliday did of Doug Ross because you'll see what I'm talking about. It's mo a lot of you already do. Um, and the thing about Doug is he had that influence on so many people. Doug worked really hard to passionately project himself 
into the world, into the community, uh, to make it be more what he wanted to see. And that's why it's so appropriate, and I'm so proud to be able to present this award to uh, Irene Juarez O'Connell. Um, uh, I just want to say one more thing. Uh, I only recently became familiar with this young woman's work. If you haven't seen the mural uh, down at Beach Flats, do yourself a favor and get down there. It's amazing. It's the longest mural in the county of Santa Cruz, and it's still incredible that she put so much story on that space. Um, like Doug, Irene is uh, using her art to change the world, and so I'm so uh, it's so incredible. Doug would be so psyched. such an honor to be up here with an, a, a cohort of amazing Next Year's winners this year. Thank you. I'd like to give thanks first and foremost to Creator, to my family, to my ancestors, and to the ancestors of these lands, and to you all, the community that supports me. So thank you. I want to dedicate this award to La Comunidad de la Playa, the Beach Flats community. Incredible, yeah. I couldn't do it alone, and I want to give special thanks to Reina and Nicole, and also to the original artist of the erased mural, Victor Cervantes. I am very honored to be given an award in the legacy of Doug Ross, because he combined beautiful art with passionate action. And as a cultural worker, as an artivist, my art goes far beyond the finished product. It's really about the collaborative process, the relationship to community, and to the uplifting of young artists and leaders. So I'm very grateful, and in a time where we are all being called to greater action, to creativity and resilience, I want to invite my community to not only appreciate the mural, but also do the work that reflects the values that are highlighted in the mural. <laughs> my hope is that the mural is preserved and cherished for generations to come, and that it continues to stand as a symbol of resistance to gentrification, to state-sanctioned violence, and to cultural erasure. I want it to stand as a symbol of love, of celebration of our histories, and to the fact that everyone deserves human dignity and that no human is illegal. Thank you. Yeah.